a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for 23rd feb sunday on the front page you have truth cannot be eclipsed by prejudices so this is what president ram nath kovind said when he inaugurated the hindus thought conclave the huddle in bengaluru so he says truth exists in absolute form which cannot be eclipsed by blinkers of prejudices it cannot be a case of your truth versus my truth truth has to be one so the fourth edition of the huddle which is organized by the hindu group of publications has been inaugurated and here you have road near shahin bagh opened by protesters police so a stretch of road near the shahin bagh protest site was opened following a visit by supreme court appointed interlocutor so now the a road stretch has been opened it was shown earlier to how the police has also cordoned off many you know access points along across the roads here connecting delhi and noida so now steps have been taken to open up then below you have modi a versatile genius says justice arun mishra so supreme court judge arun mishra described prime minister narendra modi as an internationally acclaimed visionary at a public forum he also called mr modi a versatile genius who thinks globally and acts locally so he was he was one of the first five senior most judges of the court twice lauded by uh, who twice lauded prime minister modi in his vote of thanks at the inaugural session of international judicial conference 2020 Uh, title judiciary and the changing world so, so prime minister modi was also on the dais along with chief justice of india sharad bobde and other judges then on page 8 you have anti ca protest bombay calls meeting of senior officers so close on heels of two youngsters been arrested by bengaluru police for the alleged anti national statements in the course of protest during uh, anti ca protests as such so now in karnataka here you can see police officers have taken stock of the situation to discuss preventive steps so these anti ca protests seeing anti national activities by youngsters so this was a youth who shouted pro pakistan slogans what was said was pakistan zindabad so has been arrested then below you have adequate water in kaval tiger reserve so this is regarding kaval tiger reserve in telangana so the varasa man animal conflict here on account of water seems to be a thing of the past now it is said there are no incidents of wild animals straying into human habitations for water as of 2019 so it, and it is expected that this would hold good for the coming year current season too so there is enough water for the animals to tide over the harsh summer in the reserve so this was earlier a huge concern and whenever any tiger reserve or national park comes in news you should know about where is it located because such questions are asked in prelims in you know, pairs identify the wrong pair etc so here it is kaval tiger reserve telangana then on page 9 you have monsoon in sundarbans likely to get longer born climate experts so this is regarding the sundarbans and climate change this is a report which has been published so here it is said sundarbans lie in the uh, west bengal region majorly in the west bengal region so uh, the monsoon here will last longer so because of this what would happen is long term coastal planning would be required because this is a delta region so it is required to ensure that the critically important intertidal habitats with their unique flora and fauna and even the local inhabitants here should have a space to retreat in land because if monsoon gets stronger then uh, even large swathes of land would be affected the royal bengal tiger is found here so this it will also be affected also its prey availability will be affected these are the concerns here the risk of flooding is there so uh, a long term coastal planning is what is emphasized now and is demanded in this study then below you have government eyes public private fund to give research and development a shot in the arm so in an effort to stimulate investment in r&d research and development department of science and technology is now considering a fund that will match the contributions made by private companies in r&d 
So you can see in 2017, global research and development spend was estimated to be 1.7 trillions in purchasing power parity talks. US, China, and Japan are the top spenders. India's share is around 2.8%. So India's top three R&D spenders are Department of Atomic Energy, Department of Space and Department of Science and Technology. And the top three Indian companies who have contributed to R&D are also mentioned here, SAP Labs, Emphasis and Olympia Tech Park. So government is now considering public-private fund. And this is GSI denies report on gold deposits in UP. So, Geological Survey of India has uh, said that there has been no discovery of gold deposits estimated to be 3,000 tons in Sonbhadra district of Uttar Pradesh, as was claimed by a district mining official. So, this said such data was not given by anybody from Geological Survey of India. On page 10, you have Prasad flags use of campaigns to sway verdicts. So, Law Minister Mr. Uh, Ravi Shankar Prasad has said that some people launch populist campaigns about the kind of judgment they expect from the court. And he calls this a sinister and dangerous trend. So, populism is the resort to those who have lost the popular mandate, he says. So, what people want is basically popular. On page 11, you have Kejriwal dropped from Melania's school visit. So, this is US First Lady Melania Trump, who on a visit to India now, was uh, is expected to visit Delhi government schools to see the AAP government's flagship happiness curriculum in practice in the schools. So, in this now, Kejriwal and uh, Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, and the Deputy Chief Minister, and who looks into the education portfolio, Mr. Manish Sisodia, would not be part of the uh, visit. So they have been dropped. Though the visit would take place, and the reason US embassy says they were embassy says they were dropped is because of protocol issues. So this is there. So this happiness class is called as a solution to all hate and narrow mindedness. And you know, thought provoking issues are picked up. It focuses on meditation, moral teachings, mental exercises. So it aims at turning students into good human beings. That's right. So it's held in Delhi government schools from nursery to class 8. Then this is China denying not for relief flight. So Indian officials say that evacuation aircraft, some other nations have been allowed, but uh, China has denied India permission to fly an aircraft carrying medical supplies to Wuhan. So the Minister of External Affairs said C-17 Global Master, Globe Master military transport aircraft will carry medical supplies to coronavirus hit Wuhan and evacuate Indians who are willing to return. But Chinese side continues to maintain there is no delay. But explicably the clearances have not been given. And below you have one in three payments for maternity benefit scheme credited to wrong account. So sometimes the money is untraceable by beneficiaries enrolled under Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana and field functionaries. So money does not come to them and also it's a cause of much dissatisfaction. So this is a Niti Aayog report on the scheme, how it is credited into the wrong bank account. So the progress report on Poshan Abhyan, nutrition mission released by Niti Aayog. Under the Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana, pregnant women and lactating mothers receive 5,000 for their first child. On international page, you have continuation of the old news regarding coronavirus cases in South Korea, how they are increasing there, regarding the truce which uh, uh, Taliban has, uh, uh, no, has, been, uh, has, been, uh, has agreed to a week-long truce after which a peace deal would be signed between US and Taliban and Afghan government would also be roped in later. So, this we have already discussed the news over the week. Then on business page here you have tardy pace of farm schemes irks finance minister. The finance minister has come down heavily on public sector banks for unsatisfactory progress of various schemes related to farm sector. So, finance minister has expressed his, its displeasure over the tardy progress made by banks. So, here you can see the schemes which are being spoken of is also PM Kisan. So, Ministry has asked banks to hurry and wants 2.33 crores more PM Kasan beneficiaries under the credit card scheme. 
Mr. also pulled the banks on slow implementation of Pradhan Mandri Fasal Bima Yojana scheme. So PM Kisan, you can see all eligible beneficiaries of PM Kisan will be covered under the Kisan credit card scheme. So this was announced in the budget. Then on Sundays, you have this FAQ coverage. So here the first issue covered is the Trump visit as India-US trade booster. So this talks about India-US trade relations and how are the tariffs and how what is expected. So it is the prospect of cooperation on trade and tariffs and will the key sticking points be over. So that is completely detailed out here. And this is regarding the border accord in Assam and the rips. So why have the terms offered by the center not gone down well with several tribal groups in Assam? So Assam government and Bodo groups, including all Bodo students, union and militant outfits, signed an agreement on 27 Jan 2020. This was the third attempt by a central government in Delhi to uh, resolve the conflict. Earlier two attempts were in 1993 and 2003. So this 2020 deal, it is said, offers more hope than earlier deals. And some of the most potent factions of the NDFB, National Democratic Front of Borderland, that had stayed away earlier from earlier agreements and now on board. So this peace accord has resulted in even student bodies like you know of the Hill District, chiefly Kirby Students Association, etc. They have raised, they have come arisen against the center's assurance of granting ST Hill status to Bodo's living in the hill areas. So concerns are also there by other tribal groups. And this is, is the end game here in Syria's civil war? So Syrian civil war is now you know, seeing again aggressive developments. Turkey, Turkish government and the Syrian government under Bashar al-Assad are in direct conflict now. Russia supports the Bashar al-Assad government of Syria. So government forces are advancing in Idlib and you know expanding their stronghold and turkey is upset on this so this syrian civil war detail what's going on is detailed out here we have discussed this in news over the week too so that is it there is no science and technology page today so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website ahr.com thank you